Today's video is regarding HP Office Jet Pro All-in-One Printer. So I'm going to show you how to do quick unboxing and setup of this printer. So let's start with the unboxing. Our printer is on as we have plugged in the power and we have to go to the display panel so that we can start the setup process. Here the first step is to select the language. So select the English and just confirm the language here. Select the country where you want to register this printer. I'm going to show you how to install the setup in cartridges in this printer now. Now we have to install the ink cartridges for that these are the setup ink cartridges supplied with the printer. So take them out. So this is the black ink cartridge and this side is the coloring cartridge. So these should be three pieces. So total four ink cartridges are here and the ink cartridge chamber door is at the front of this printer. So open this door by pulling it outside and wait for the chamber to move and come here. All the markings are here and now we have to install the ink cartridges one by one. Now I'll show you how to install them. So we can start with the color ink cartridges. Now you have to check the seal color. It should match with the color here. Also this seal will stay outside facing this side and the HP logo should be upside as like this and you just have to simply place here and slide it in and push it in there is a spring and it will lock and for same for the next the seal should be facing downwards and just place it here slide it in push it in and it will lock now the yellow the seals must stay outside so that we can see the colors and push it in it will lock there and this is the black so here is the seal which is black in color at the down so place it like this and your ink cartridges are installed now close the ink cartridge chamber door and go to the screen once we close the ink cartridge chamber door, you will see this screen. It says instant ink ready and it says thanks for using these cartridges. Now we have to click OK to continue the process. Next step is to load the plain letter or A4 size paper sheets. Paper tray is at the bottom. So you just have to push it outside. Also adjust the size here. Place the A4 size sheets and push the tray inside. Paper output tray is here on the top of that. Now go to the display panel. On the display panel we can see the next step is to align the print heads or the ink cartridges. For that we need to press the continue button. So printer is going to print the alignment page now. Open the top scanner bed and place this ink cartridge alignment sheet facing downwards on the upper corner here close this door and click on the scan button on the display panel we can see the alignment is successful and we have to just click on the ok button on the next screen we see it says to complete the setup we have to go to the hp website at 123.hp.com but you can select the question mark here and the next option is network setup click on that 
and we get three options here to do the Ethernet setup, wireless setup or we can connect it later. So just select anything you want for example connect later. Now click OK and click OK again. Now it says thanks for choosing the HP. So here is the main display screen. That means we have successfully set up our printer. Now we are ready for the copy and we can also do the Wi-Fi setup or Wi-Fi direct setup or using an Ethernet cable we can do the setup so that we can do the wireless printing and scanning. For that go to the display screen. On the display screen scroll down the top bar and click on the setting icon. Now click on the network setup, click on the wireless settings, click on the wireless setup wizard. It will search for available wireless networks in its range and this blue light is blinking that means it's not connected with any wireless network. Select the network here. Now enter the password using the touch screen. Once you enter once you enter the password click OK and it will connect with the Wi-Fi network. Once it is connected you will see the blue light stops blinking and it stays on. That means your printer is online and it is connected to the Wi-Fi network. Now you can use it for the wireless printing and scanning by adding this printer in your MacBook, iPhone, laptop or computer and make sure you do that. Only then you can do the wireless printing and scanning. Overall, overall is a very good printer. It has a touch screen panel which is movable. Also, it has a top feeder tray which we can use for the multiple scannings. And uh, the printer is good overall. Thanks for watching.